After scoring Real Madrid's second goal in the Club World Cup final against Al Hilal on Saturday, Federico Valverde ran to get a hug from the manager Carlo Ancelotti. It was the midfielder's 10th goal of the season and the third in the tournament. But why did the Uruguayan celebrate with a gaffer? Well, at the start of this season, Ancelotti made a bet with Valverde. I told Valverde that if he didn't score at least 10 goals this season, I will tear up my coaching license and leave. I don't know how many he can score because he has the quality to score many. I'm not going to risk much more, I already took a risk on a bet with him, I'm not going to risk with Rodrigo, said Ancelotti in an interview on September 14th last year. The challenge has clearly propelled the South American to hitting new heights because since his senior debut for Real Madrid in October 2018, he had scored six goals over four seasons. But the time of the World Cup break in November last year, Valverde had eight goals to his name. The 24-year-old scored his ninth goal in the 4-1 semifinal win over Al Ali on Wednesday. And during Real Madrid's preparation for the final in Rabat, both Valverde and Ancelotti were really excited by the possibility of a 10th goal in Morocco. And sure to their high hopes, the Uruguayan international struck early by volleying a low ball past the wrong-footed goalkeeper following an unconvincing clearance header from Al Hilal center-back Jang Hyun Soo in the 18th minute. Just as he had promised during his interview prior to the final, Valverde raced Ancelotti and shared a warm embrace before returning for the restart. He went on to complete his brace in the 58th minute to stare Real Madrid to a 5-3 eventual win and clinch the trophy for the fifth time, the most for any club in the history of the tournament.